Oh, hi. Um, so I bet you're doing what I'm doing right now, is just kind of sitting around trying to find something to do. Uh, I finally got to play with my headset. So um, right now, I've got my VR Hive or Vive headset, um, and it's kind of rigged to me. And well, thank you. And my handles here. So I know this kind of looks like we're outside of the Matrix in the Matrix movie right now. Uh, it's because we're going to go inside my headset, and I'm going to show you guys uh, how to draw a tree. Just because uh, it's fairly simple, and I think anybody could pick it up. Uh, so yeah, let's go in to Tilt Brush and paint a tree. You guys ready? Ugh. Again, we're not sponsored or anything. I don't care. I just love this thing, and I play with it all the time. So here's our tree. Um, as you can see, here's the handles, too. If you're not familiar with this, uh, it's all right. I'll walk you through it. It's, um, you point this one at it. You spin stuff with your thumb, really. It's the easiest way I've found. Um, so we've got the tree here, and I've already made this tree, um, and I'll show you exactly how we did it. I'm just adjusting things here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start... Uh, backtracking as I backtrack you'll see different things fade away and all these things kind of fade away um, so yeah I mean we've got colors here so you can change all sorts of colors um, there's you know I guess pointers the mirror we'll use first I'll show you how to use that the straight edge and then also the sphere cube kind of guidelines are really neat and they very helpful uh, and they're there in the guides and you could also take these off see just pluck it off by pushing the little button on the side of your controller wow. and you can get rid of it very easily by throwing this away oh whoops <laughs> throwing this away okay no never mind that doesn't work all right, this is not working well. Okay, well, it doesn't want to go thrown away, so I'll just put it back on the dock. Oh my goodness. Right. Anyway, so still take this off, and I'll show you how this all works and what we're gonna do here. So let's backtrack. See, I built the whole infrastructure, and it's like making these brushes kind of work for you. Um, there's a lot of brushes you can go through them too. Like, I mean, there's like, I don't know, coarse brushes, bubbles, these little light waves, um, electricity, neon pulse, and dots. I don't know. They, I mean, it keeps going and going. Uh, we're going to use the icing, that one that I like, because it looks more like bark. See? Yeah, it looks more like a, a tree. Uh, keep going with getting rid of all this stuff because I'm going to show you how to get the grass. I like to use both sometimes for grass. We've got other different tools here. Diamond's good for water. And, you know, they're really cool. This is actually a really, really fun thing to do when you're quarantined. Uh, so I'm just going to go get rid of a lot of this. Uh, oh, by the way, welcome to the Matrix. Um, this is painting with T-Bones Matrix. Um, it's not like Bob Ross or anything. Because um, I don't have a squirrel, that's the only difference. All right, so I think we're gonna just start with this, the mirror. Uh, that is important because it just makes, uh, it makes things fast to create, I believe. I mean, that's just my opinion. So I'm gonna put the mirror here and you have to hit both of these buttons on the sides here to make things grow. Like, see how it's like the elephant? And then it goes to the dog. So now we're the size of a dog or we're the size of the elephant. So we're gonna go to the size of the elephant because I want this tree to be nice and big. So we have our mirror, that's up. And then we need guidelines. And the guidelines really help you draw nice and straight. You can actually I like to put it in a mirror like that. And to make it big, same thing, hit these buttons. You can stretch it that way, and then you can hit this and stretch it this way. 
So if you can see me outside of the matrix, you see my, I'm controlling all of this. Um, there. And we'll make a nice big platform. Oops, I hit the mirror at the moment. Oh. So. Uh, keep messing this up. All right, there we go. I'm still new at this too, because I just started using this again. I've uh, uh, been working a lot, so not much time. Uh, let's see. We'll need a brown kind of ground to start with. And I tend to use this cross hatch, or I mean, you could even use paper. Uh, where is it? Paper. That one's a good one too. Um, or oil paint looks cool too. Thick paint is interesting. <clears throat> but we need we need something for like a ground, really. So like a brown. We're gonna put the grass through it. So, but since you have the mirror up, it makes it a lot easier. Uh, there we go. Um, and usually it just follows this. So I'm gonna bring this dropper bigger by pushing the, the right or left. And you just do this. There you go, there you have it. You got grass or, you know, I don't know, whatever you want. It kind of looks like hay. Uh, you can do a hay bale this way. But you see how the mirror, I just have to do one side of it. So you don't have to do the mirror if you don't want to. It's all up to you. Okay, so, boom. That just gives us a nice flat ground. We don't really, I don't think, need this anymore because when you start doing the grass, we're gonna go to a green. It's, just, it's really cool, cause it's like a, it's like a cool easel, like a sci-fi easel. So yeah, then boom. But if I try to do like grass, let's grab some grass. Not coarse, none of that. The petals look cool. You wanna do the petals, it just kinda does this weird thing and doesn't work for you, so. First things first is get rid of this floor. We made it. You could probably stretch it out, do what you want with the ground, but I just like to make it simple, just a square. And you just simply throw those away. This mirror we don't need, so you just have to go under here and turn that off. And we're good, now we got our ground. And again, push the two buttons, make this big, small. There we go, we got our ground. And let's get some grass in our ground before we get to our tree. It's gonna take us a little bit to get to the tree. Okay, so the petals, you can adjust again the size like this. But I like to do that. That's big. Get a little small. You just kind of pick away. Just kind of, it just looks like grass. Very simple. Just so sweet that you can like walk around it like a like you're making a 3D sculpture, and that's what's fun about this VR. I got lost in it the other day, just doing it all night, and you, you like take the goggles off and you realize the sun's coming up. You just really go into another world, um, but it's a lot of fun. And again, I'm not gonna go crazy with this, and you can also change up the colors too, so it's like. The grass is just a little different. Maybe a little yellow or more. Just making grass and listening to reggae, you know what I'm saying? That's what it's all about. Alright, here we go. That's that's good. And then we could add a little bit more um, uh, with this, this is a cool one. Coarse bristles. Now, I can make it big or small. Okay, about there. I'm just going up and down. You can get little chunks of grass. Uh, you could also just darken it up in places and change your colors so it looks more natural. And more color variations you got, the cooler it looks. People are like, that looks real. <laughs> it's like, I just changed colors. 
Oh, that's two. Tune in. I hope everyone's being safe and washing your hands and making sure you're not affecting elder. That's really what it's all about. Just being healthy. I practice healthy living, so it's important. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, this is. I mean, you can make bushes. See how you can like. Oh yeah. And then you can get into it, and like I said, you stretch it out. Let's get a human size. This is kind of what it would look like for real. You know, if you're really. You know, and to move things around, same thing. You just kind of move it around with you. But yeah, so. Yeah, so there. We got a nice little lush little area there for our tree. So now we're going to go to brown, darker. Right there, like close to bark. And my favorite one is the icing. It really looks like, I mean, look at that. It really kind of looks like a, yeah. It <laughs> kind of looks like a turd, but it also, if you really look at it, you could really play with it and make it look like it's it's wood um, or, or branch. So I was playing with this for a while and I was doing this and it was, just, was looking weird. So really the trick is going inward towards it. So we won't need like our base. Kind of give it a big, and it's pressure sensitive on this trigger here. Um, I should probably save, huh? All right, let's save. All right, all right, smile. Okay, so then um, I'm gonna come down like this into it to kind of give that, I don't know, big branch look. So I'm gonna squeeze lightly with this and then pressure sense, you know, cause you, you know what I mean. Just pull it hard once you get down into it. Uh, kind of like airbrushing is kind of the technique I use it from. But you go light and then oh, all right. light and then I hold down. Boom. So now you got what looks like a branch because it's naturally doing that. So then the rest of it is pretty much you know the same way but you're just like kind of coming in at your branch. You know, and then kind of get your big base, oops, get your big base branches, ah, base branches down. Um, a little smaller, you can do smaller branches. Yeah. Just keep doing that. Just load her up. And then since it's 3D, you can spin it around. Just sculpt, you know, have fun. And it's a tree, so it doesn't have to be like precision. I'll probably do another one that's like more of like a building and like more of an advanced building where you need more precision. But this is very loose, that's why I did this one. It's very simple. I think a lot of people can just kind of have fun with this, but you can kind of create it any way you like. Um, and I'm gonna put bra bra uh, blah. I'm gonna put a lot of I'm gonna put a lot of leaves on it anyway, so you don't have to get too many branches going. Just want to see some branches. Um, you can always you can always get in get in on it because the cool thing is, as a sculpture, you can work through it. As normal sculptures, you can't. That's just the next level, you know. And I haven't even gotten to the point, but I think you could print this out. I'm not quite sure. Drew out the controls would no more than I would, but you could probably put this into a system and get it printed out. Um, and maybe I'll do that at some point. But right now, just do this. And it's easier when it's bigger because it's like, you know, you can really see the detail and have fun with it. Loose ones are terrible. And adjust, you gotta keep adjusting the, you'll get used to it, but adjust the thumb. 
but usually the branches are always you know reaching for the sky just sitting around and I was like, man, I really want to paint again with this 3D because it's super cool. It's like this unique experience that every artist should try. But this is Tilt Brush, which is kind of just a, I don't know if it's standard, but it's still getting into the VR world, but I really, this is just neat. actually ducked, <laughs> I ducked away from the, <laughs> the branch, oh boy, it starts becoming real, man, uh, anyway, I'm, I'm gonna kind of, there we go, kind of wrap it up a little bit, And if you want to hit undo, that's usually a, <laughs> a standard. It's right here. You just hit that or do some other thing that real sculpting doesn't offer. Yeah. yeah, it's a weird branch. Some trees are weird, you know? It's like people. Some people are weird, some branches are weird. Yeah, there's always weird life. You're in life. And I think we're okay here. This is pretty basic. So as you can see, it just kind of starting to really look like this cool tree. And I'm just simply kind of moving into the base that we did. So, okay, now the next step is let's get some, some uh, leaves all over this. Um, so I'll do these coarse bristles. Those are the best. And you don't want to go this big because it just starts, it'll look really silly. So uh, I like to go really small because it starts to really feel authentic. And I just kind of run it down what I just drew. So like, just kind of like this. And then you just do that down every branch and then kind of fill it up like branches with the branches would spit the leaves off like that. Just kind of collect. And you can go really hard into this where you're like getting really detailed, but I, I make it pretty simple for this. I mean, you could do this for hours, man. Trust me. <laughs> uh, I've made a lot of these trees already. Um, but yeah, you just kind of hit every branch. Make some stuff bald so the branch kind of sticks out because it gives it that authentic feel. And again, with changing the colors, you can do that. Because the colors, like. You know, give it realism. I trailed off. I'm thinking leaves, leaves, leaves. Beaver leaf. Okay, so. As you can see, you can do this, and, and I could even throw in rocks too at the base of the tree. We can go into that too. Just wiggling around on it. Sometimes it does that. This VR system is pretty remarkable. I know there's other ones out there that are probably just as cool. Just such a unique new tool. And this doesn't make anyone, you know, better. It just expands the tool and speeds up the process, really, in my opinion. You, know, you could probably think different. But, so yeah, you can you get used to it, you know. Um, let me change up the color darker tone in there and then you could even 
I'm gonna go as far as hitting some yellow, make it fall, and then go into red or whatever. Like you can get creative with it. I'm just doing basic bra, basic basic tree. Uh, and you know maybe we'll put a squirrel in here for Bob Ross. You know memory of that dude. He always made things. I watched him a lot growing up. And he like just made things really simple to understand and simple techniques. It was cool. Uh, he used to make like trees with oil that was like just slid the, the paint right on it. Just was like, oh, there's a branch. It's like, whoa. Kind of what this is doing, but you know, not as cool as him. Cause he was way rad. I'm just T Bone. Okay, this is about cool. I think maybe uh, a little bit of lighter colors in there. Gonna spin it up a little bit. You can even do the size difference, make it smaller. Okay, jamming it up, making it see. So. That is really the basics of it. And you can just keep getting more and more detailed and dramatic with it. I mean, you could even turn it into Weepy Willow. I'll show you how to do that here in a second. Um, you got all this stuff, but let me actually darken, get some dark chunks in there to kind of really change it up. Who wants just the normal green, man? Let's make it real. I mean, you can even make it an apple tree by just getting crazy and, um, let's see, let's see if I could do it. Uh, maybe wire and go up and, yeah. Apple tree, you can make it an orange tree. Whatever you want. <laughs> oh, apple tree. Yeah. I don't know. You can do what you want. It's your tree, not my tree. This is my tree. This one's my tree. Yeah, little orange tree. <laughs> it's alright. It's super simple. You can even make a banana tree. I've never seen someone make a banana tree. Everyone's talking about orange trees. Little bundles of bananas. <laughs> Uh, this is getting weird. Okay, so to make a weeping willow, you go to the petals again. Instead of going like up like I was doing, just drag them. Instead, just be kind of, you could even like wiggle them down. It makes, eh, it's making them a lot smaller. In fact, let's go nice and big and then go real small. And then you just kind of do this a lot. I'll be doing this. This is like very, very Atlanta, Georgia. This is Georgia. Georgia trees. I always got those. Uh, I'm going to put a pond right here and it's weeping or whatever. Uh, see? So, yeah. Uh, eh. That's all right, I'm not really feeling those. But yeah, you get the idea. Um, I made a cave once and I used them for vines, that was cool. So it's like how you properly like utilize your tool. But this, you know, this is fun. This is a like, nice little tree. So we can even go here, go back to our brown root color and you can do the opposite into here. Get your roots coming into it. And again, you can walk around it or spin it. It's totally up to you. Right here, it's like really windy roots, crazy roots. I'm loving this song. This would be good for kids, so, hey kids, 
<laughs> anyway, I guess this could be a good show. Anyway, you just kind of get the idea. You get like this cool like group thing. You know, I don't know. You got a nice little tree. Let's uh, let's add some rocks because that's natural. Uh, so what I normally do for rocks, well, um, you've got matte hall and you got these shiny hall, unlift hall and diamond. Diamond's cool if you put diamond with like some blue. You know, you got a really wild like water look. You know. Uh, Diamond's really sweet. But if that was the case, I'd probably do one of these guides and, but I'm not gonna do any water. But the mat is what we're gonna use for the rocks and I'll just go to like a blue gray. And you can just, they're very simple. You just move them around and boom, you get rocks. And you can just put one by the, right by the base of the tree. And to really make them pop, I usually like to go back and get a uh, the petals coming out of the rock too, because that's cool. It makes it seem like that rock's really crushing in there. Crushing in there. But anyway. That's kind of the basics of just kind of getting a, a tree and you know, you could do rolling hills and all this stuff and just do a bunch of these and spend a long time making these things. Like a really long time making hundreds of them. And you know, you can copy paste them, move them around and then just make a whole forest or a jungle. Uh, it's really cool uh, what you can do. You can even go in here and they've got, um, you got all these other cool things that people have made. Uh, but uh, it's really neat. There's that. Let's save it first. Um, I don't know if it's an upload. I forgot. No. Um, can't recall where it is, but you can bring in objects. I think it's actually, it's been a while. Oh, here, poly library. So that's a bunch of stuff that, you know, that it's already existing in the, the space. And these are cool. I feel like I'm in like Star Trek with these, you know, like, I'm gonna just put my panel here in the holodeck and check out what we got here. <laughs> anyway, uh, so you could do fun stuff like, you know, there's mushrooms, a patch of mushrooms. And, you know, let's, we got this patch of mushrooms now and we can maybe put it in our mix. Who knows? I don't know, it looks weird. But it's fun to add these little elements. There's not really the mushrooms that fit our little thing, but you know, there's always that. Oh, that, that works. Okay, I'll live with that. Um, and maybe a little Pikachu, maybe he's, He's chilling too. You know, maybe he ate some of those mushrooms. And he's having some um, weird experiences. Anyway, <coughs> Pikachu and his tree. Right? Um, so yeah, there's all these different options. It's kind of fun. Um, let's see. Oh, this is kind of cool. Oh, we got this. Pikachu's like cutting down. Other trees around the area and this tree might be next. But for now, it's just shade for him to eat his mushrooms and chop down some other trees there. You know, so you can get really creative with it. Maybe grab this ladder and let's get in. Yeah. Take this as you make it part of our little weird exhibit here that we're creating. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just now going nuts. I'll do it right there. Um, this is how he gets up to get his oranges that I'm gonna put in there. There you go. 
he could just gotta get to his oranges, man. Even though he could probably jump up there, he's got all his. Uh, yeah, so he's got apples, of course. I mean, the dude's got tons of apples. So he's gotta. There we go. So Pikachu has got his. I just, I don't know if there's just single apples. I could just make them. Uh, you know, you can do your a sun a speaker. Well, he definitely needs a speaker there. He rocks out, so we're gonna have to. That's like mandatory. In fact, that's probably the more important tree right now. So you can make some of these cool jams. So let's put it right here. Cool. Sweet. Right there. Right there. Cool. And then, uh, yeah. I think that's a pretty good. Um, yeah. Get rid of this. Let's go out into the atmosphere. Okay, so then get back to the red apple. Let's kind of match the apples he's got. Let's put some apples around there. He's got one apple there. Am I on the right? No, I'm not. Let's see. One apple there. Apple there. Just, uh, I mean, I mean, you could probably decorate your Christmas tree this way for Christmas. Save a lot more money. Whoa, what's happening? Oh, <laughs> something just happened. We lost all our little Pikachu. There we go. Something happened there. It's okay. We'll survive. In fact, let's just do this on the real. Like this should be like this. I mean, to be honest, this is how he really listens while he's in the tree, getting his apples. Needs that music like blaring, bro. Blaring. He likes his music. So he's got some to get up here, so we might have to put a ladder up there too. But I think ahead, you know. Um, but that's that's the basics of the tree there. You can keep going if you want. But yeah, that's it. That's our apple tree, or tree, whatever you want uh, to call it. But having all the apples all over the place. Let me grab one little add-on with the polys. Another ladder, because that ladder is cool. I really like it. Let's do one up here, because he's got a jump in the tree. Not tree to tree, but you know, he doesn't want to have to jump all the way over there. He's a little guy. So, there we go. It's kind of like his, his hangout. I wish they had a hammock in there and put him in a hammock. And I'm just pulling these controllers away from each other in order to get large, small. You could also delete things um, with a race. It has this little doohickey here. When it highlights the thing, you just pull the trigger and it disappears. But we don't want to do that. And I could get rid of the, all the trees if I want. Shoot them back. No, man. <laughs> uh, but we're not going to do that. But thanks for watching. This is. Oh, get rid of that speaker. <laughs> Thanks for watching. This is Painting with T-Bone. I'm going to let you go because, you know, that's all you really need to know. This is it. Um, and, yeah, I'll probably uh, probably do a building next time or something a little bit more intricate with uh, 
the way it's done, but subscribe, share, like, do all those things. Uh, I'm just going to keep doing this because this is fun and not much left to do right now. There's no work going on for us, so I'm going to keep painting and streaming it. Might as well. It's kind of fun. And I want to teach you guys how to do it. Tilt Brush is the program, uh, and it's for Vive, the headset. And uh, it's a lot of fun. If you're an artist, I'd definitely get one and try to play because you get really creative. And uh, I believe you can push it to 3D programs like Maya, things like that. But uh, yeah, or like uh, even Blender. Anyhow, uh, we're going to wrap it up here. But this is our tree. And as you can see, we can stand with Pikachu in the final let's get it really nice and big let's be the size of a squirrel and we can walk around with him i think we could climb up i wish we could climb up this oh man there's all these little mushrooms look at all this we can look up to the tree that we just made a big old speaker oh, he's got a lot of apples in there there's other apples on the ground but anyway let's get out of vr because i feel like this is real now <laughs> I don't even know where everybody is, but uh, thanks for watching and subscribe to our channel. We're going to be doing a lot more of this, this fun stuff. This is our quarantine art show, I guess. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we're going to get more going.